Oye, esto es solo para los rumberos. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Raw Food Muscle. I'm your host Santiago and today we're in my laboratory, man. And this is how it all gets done. This is how we create life from the seed onto the growing point. And this is how I'm going to show you how it's done indoors, man. <laughs> so, last time I showed you this thing, it was a lot smaller than it is now. Because look at this stuff. It's like a jungle, man. <laughs> I'm in the jungle. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is uh, these are all my tomatoes right here, and um, I have a whole bunch of different varieties of tomatoes. I got zebras, I got Amisins, I got um, a I think they called um, Amish um, uh, Cherokee tomato plants. You know, I, I love tomatoes, and um, I love a different variety of tomatoes. So last year we grew a whole bunch of you know I don't know probably like 20 different tomato plants. And um, I was really impressed with um, with everything that grew. So this t this year we're doing the same thing. And uh, in the back there, not sure you can see, these are bell peppers. They're a combination of like uh, I think orange and yellow. And over here we have some more. This is another tomato plant. And over here we have the um, eggplants. Some more tomatoes over there. And then we have a peppermint plant right here. We, I actually bought this peppermint plant, and I also bought these uh, cilantros, these two cilantros. And um, you know, so I tried to grow them from from seed, and uh, they didn't do too well. So I wasn't too too happy about it. Um, I should have planted planted more seeds. That's the thing. With sometimes when you get when you when you plant your seeds, if you're planning to grow, let's say you know two plants, okay plant more than two seeds because you don't you never know if the seeds going to take okay so you might want to double up on it plant you know four seeds maybe even six seeds and it's better to have too many of them than you know not any at all so all right so this stuff is going to be ready to be transplanted outside i should have i was hoping to do it last week but because the weather around here has still been on the chill side um, I want to keep my tomato plants indoors probably another day or two before I uh, transplant them uh, outside. Um, maybe um, maybe two or three more days. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys what's going on outside, man. Everything's growing. Okay, so we're outside. This is where all the action is happening. Check out everything that's growing, man. We got the kales. We got the dinosaur kales. Look how they're growing very beautifully. All my curly kales are growing, man. Look at the curly kids. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is going to be awesome. Over here we have um, my cauli uh, cauliflower growing. And, um, and over here we have all my spinach. Okay. These are all my beautiful, awesome looking spinach. And look how beautiful they are. And this year I actually did... Um, this is my first time doing it, uh, but um, uh, Kathy was reading a book, uh, and I've been kind of reading up on it al also. It's a book called uh, Anastasia, and it's basically a series, but um, I was really interested in how she does it. You know, it's a book on basically how to do things more uh, connected with, uh, with Mother Earth, and uh, basically how I planted these particular seeds was under the tongue. And so there's a particular method. you got to do it for like nine minutes with your bare feet in the ground all that fun stuff and I actually did that this year and uh, I actually tasted it and actually tasted it really really good so I'm really impressed with it so far so yep yeah, that's all my spinach look how beautiful they are square foot gardening man it's not a morning choice and over here we got um, more cauliflowers and also broccoli and uh, now the problem that I'm having I'm having issues with my with my insects, and this is the same problem I had last year. And because I don't use pesticides, um, I'm trying to do things naturally. So I bought these marigolds, and they're supposed to be insect retardant. And so I put them over here next to these guys, and I'm hoping that whatever it is that's biting away. And I've been uh, you know looking online and trying to find <coughs> better methods of dealing with these insects. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if I can get some prairie mantis friends over here, because uh, they are, you know, 
carnivores when it comes to uh, insects, and they just eat up all kinds of insects. So I might think about doing that. But with these kinds of things, you know, you, you kind of got to jump jump on it quick. I've talked to other gardeners. They said they had the same problem, and they just like just they don't they don't even grow the particular vegetable that they have a problem with. Uh, and for me, it's cauliflower, big time cauliflower. Um, last year, I tried to grow my cauliflower. They didn't do as well because they eat a lot of these leaves, and then you know. The cauliflower has to have that um, in order for it to build that um, that that centerpiece um, where the where the cauliflower blows from. So, oh, and also I forgot to tell you guys, uh, we went to the organic store <clears throat> and I bought some jalapeno poppers uh, or jalapenos because of my jalapeno poppers, man. <laughs> because I wasn't really planning on growing jalapenos this year, but man, we were tearing those jalapeno poppers up like a dog man so I was like man I need to go ahead and get me some uh, plants and start growing my own so the, last year we grew some but we just didn't eat that many of them so that's why I didn't plan on planting them from seed so this year we just went to the store and just got a couple of them um, and we got a couple of um, uh, zucchinis and um, we actually have one um, melon cantaloupe. cantaloupe I'm sorry cantaloupe so and cantaloupes, you know, they grow pretty pretty big, so I'm going to be uh, having some fun with that. So that's my garden, guys, and um, I hope you guys are, you know, trying to do your part, trying to grow your own food in whatever way possible uh, for you. And uh, like I said, if you don't have your own garden, you know, check out your local parks, bug your neighbors, ask, you know, your friends and family who got, who got land, who got yards, and, um, you know, just do whatever you can, okay? So... All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all next time on the Raw Food Muscle. Agarra tu mujer. Y aceptillar si ha dicho. Se pilla, se pilla, se pilla, se pilla, se pilla.